What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, I want to show you guys how you can edit uh, your orders on the Weibo platform. So, if you are in a position and you've put in either your stop loss or your take profit, can you edit that um, in real time? Can you move things around? So, I'm going to show you guys how simple that is. Just for clarity, though, I'm actually recording this video after the market has closed. I didn't get a chance to record it live when the market was uh, open. So I'm just going to walk you guys through it. But uh, hopefully down the road, I should be able to record another video where I actually show you live. But I have some orders here that we can actually use for this example. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, I share my strategy on how I make $250 a day um, trading the market with very minimum amount of money and just to get you started. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So if you can see right here, this is my screen. Uh, basically, I have a position right now. If you can see this down here, I have uh, 2000 shares of SNMP. That's a ticket symbol that I actually spend about $1,200. So let's get the details here before we actually jump in. So I'm going to show you guys the detail of the of this particular trade. So um, I bought it for, uh, I bought 2,000 shares for 62 cents. If you run it up, it might be 63 cents. And it cost me uh, $1,251.2. Again, uh, just run it up. You can say it's $1,300. So that's how much it cost me. And here, now that uh, I am actually trading this, the market is closed. But what I did is I bought it before the market closed. And then I'm in the money, $127.60. This is what I have done. So far, I have two orders because this, this, um, this the, the quantity of shares that I got is 2,000. So I have two orders of 1,000 each. The first order that you see here is going to sell 1,000. It's going to sell 1,000 shares at 80 cents. So you see, that's my price. It's a limit order, and then 1,000. So if it hits 80 cents, you sell 1,000. In that way, at least I secure some profit. And again, this this right here is because the market is closed already, guys. If the market were open, I wouldn't do this strategy. I'll do a different strategy, which I'm going to do a video, a separate video on that one, so you guys can actually see. Um, so I'm going to bet the market is going to open at 3 a.m. Central Time. That's my time. And if it gets up, if I get up at that time or the market opens up and this, this stock just push up to, say, 80 cents, it's going to sell a 1,000 shares. I'm not there watching it, but it's just going to sell it for me. That way I can secure some profit. The only downside is if the market opens and it reverses from there, and then I would lose all the profit that I have in, in this case. Um, but... That's, that's the risk you take. Then the second order is going to execute at uh, a dollar. So let me, let me open up this one here so you guys can actually see. So if I modify this, see here? So I set it to sell at a dollar. So if he hits a dollar from right now at about 68 cents, if this thing just kind of squeeze up to a dollar, sell the remaining 1,000. I'm not a greedy savage. You guys know that and I expect you not to be a greedy savage. I could have put this to say $2, but... I if it goes up to a dollar, I'm already almost three or four hundred dollars with a basic investment of twelve hundred dollars. So I'm not a greedy savage. I want to take my profit, even if I'm not there to see it. Just secure that profit and get me out. So the basically that's the way it works. Um, again, you can modify your order um, by just going here and clicking modify and changing this real time. Right. The other easy way that you can do is. If you click on, you see right here on the screen where it shows the limit order that I have. So sell at a uh, thousand shares at 80 cents. All you have to do is click on the order, just left click on the order, hold it, pull it down or up wherever you want it. So if I move it down a little bit, now it's at 76 cents. That's pretty easy. So if this thing was moving and squeezing up fast, all I had to do is just click here and drag it and drop it. And that's it. And I can secure some profit. So if if this candle that you see right here, I could have just I could have just pulled this down and drop it wherever I wanted. So just pull it down and say, hey, right here, sell this at that price. And once it hit that price, it's gonna sell it. So that's that's just pretty much the way it works. Basically, 
Editing your orders in Weibo is a very basic thing. So you should take advantage of it. It doesn't mean that once you place an order, that's it. That's not status quo. You can always change it. So in Weibo, once you you can create you know, what they call a bracket order. So when I mean by bracket order, it means if I want to buy a stock, I can go in here. I choose buy, and I add on my limit. It could be you know if it's limit order. I don't use market order at all. You put your quantity, you put your limit price, and then your time in force. I, I, mine is by default set to GTC, which is good till cancel. So at that point, I don't have to worry about it. So if I put the order in, I go to sleep, and that stock drop to the price that I wanted, it would just trigger that order, execute it, and now I'm in that position. And then the other thing they have to be aware of too is the fact that you have to stop loss order and take profit in Weibo, which is life saving so let me show you guys how this works so when you when you place an order an easy way would be let me just bring the screen up here so you guys can actually see very easy so um in this case when you place your order the stop loss is right there you select that and you select you take profit it it does the estimate for you so if you look here at the bottom bottom of this stop loss it shows you the estimated amount of money that you, you can lose in that particular trade if the trade were to go south it will stop it will stop you out at that point and then here it shows you the estimated amount that you would make if the stop went up to your take profit so this is kind of a strategy that you can use so that you're not glued to your screen you can walk away knowing that okay i risk 60 cents or i risk six cents or six dollars or whatever so let's take for instance um let's say this uh, this stock was at this price and you, you put your stop loss at 61 cents and then you can put your, your take profit, I'd say a dollar. So if you buy a hundred shares, you can make $31 if it goes to a dollar. Um, and your, your cost here is basically 68 cents. So see, it shows you here at the bottom. So this is a life saver. The only downside with stop loss and take profit is that it doesn't work after hours or pre-market pretty much it works only during the market so in my case from 8 30 a.m till about 3 30 p.m that's when it works after that you cannot put an order that has uh do a bracket order like this so if you try placing the order right now it won't work because the market is actually closed um and again it shows you right there on what the times are and this is all eastern time so if your central time will be 3 a.m to 7 p.m uh, central time which is awesome so um, again, uh, one of the things I want to show you guys is that uh, when I place my order, I have uh, time and force set by default. So those two things, I don't even have to worry about it. So if you look at uh, here, so let me let me close this, um, get rid of that and get rid of that. So what I do is when I'm putting in my order, I make sure that uh, my extended hours is set by default and my time in force is set by default. And here's how you do it in Weibo. If you go down to settings, click on settings, and then go down to trade, uh, just look here, it says uh, time in force, go till cancel. So you can do day or go to cancel. I want to go to cancel, and the extended hours is either yes or no, and that one yes. So that way, each time I'm putting in an order, uh, GTC is already you know, and it's checked for me and extended hours is already checked for me. And that way I'm secure. I don't have to worry about, you know, doing multiple clicks. It just reduces the number of clicks that you have to do, which increases your, your execution time. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. So I hope this was kind of helpful. Again, the idea here is that you have the capability of being able to edit your orders as you see fit by simply uh, in this case, you can simply uh, uh, click on the order here and then do modify and modify or just clicking and holding this red um, order signal here that you have on your chart. You can just click on it, hold it, drag it up and down and just drop it wherever you want with, at whichever price that you, you like. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, I just want to show you guys that right here I do have um, today was a wonderful day, as you guys can see here on the screen, um, $840 in, in, in profit, which is not, not terrible. So I traded Unity, I traded um, AGE, and there right now, as you guys can see, uh, $127 up. 
And then these are the two stocks that pulled me down today. Lose some money on Tesla and BKYI, $21 and $31. That's not too bad. I'll take that. Again, I do cut my losses as soon as possible. I'm not a greedy savage. So let me know what you guys think about uh, the Vivo platform, how it's able to allow you to edit your orders. Do you use it in your trading strategy? If yes, let me know in the comment section. Again, guys, if you're new to the channel, we I should try to show you guys my strategy on how I make $250 a day with very minimum amount of money. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, if you are looking to get started with investing, Weibo is currently running a promotion where you get two free stocks, not one, two free stocks just for opening your account and depositing $100. Weibo is going to give you two free stocks. So definitely check the links in the description below. And as always, guys, don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.